welcome to what I hope is another quick video that won't be like an hour long. We're just getting into something basic. This iMac got wiped in a Windows 98 related accident, so we're going to put an operating system on it. This video was originally going to be Windows 2000 on an iMac, but that did not work. So we're just going to take it plain, boring, and simple, and we're just going to put Windows XP on it. Yep. That's all this video will probably be, and maybe screwing around with it is... Get in there. This is just the Windows XP on an iMac. I need to get out of the frame, otherwise this really refractive screen will show me, and I don't want that. Anyway, just gotta wait for it to pick up the fucking disc. Come on. Alright, so, we're back at the partitioner. As you can see, I have a 4 gigabyte fat partition from, uh, the Windows 98 experiments mentioned- or did I even mention that? I don't know. Uh, this iMac was wiped in an attempt to install Windows 2000, or not Windows 2000, Windows 98 on an iMac, and that went nowhere. So, I don't have macOS Snow Leopard reinstall discs on hand. So instead, we're just going to put XP on it, because XP is easy, XP won't make me want to do things that I don't want to say, it just works, I don't have any other discs. Although that being said, we may put some other operating systems on here at some point, if there's like, demand for it. Okay, that took a little longer than I hoped it would, but we made it to the desktop, so now... We have to install one of these is um boot camp drivers or something like that anyway. I have no idea which one it is. So let's find out. I'll put that on the desktop. Is this one? Mm, I don't know, is it? Come on. Did I put the disc in the wrong way? I don't think I did. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. This is Bootcamp. So, the Bootcamp installer is pretty straightforward. This is the one from the Snow Leopard disc because 4.0 consistently crashes and it's really not helpful. I accept the license agreement. Uh, we don't need Apple software update because th this hasn't worked in years. And click install. I'm gonna go put the other discs back while this installs. So, if you're curious, normally this installer package would come on this, the Snow Leopard... Oh, look, there's audio. Normally this would come on, like, the, um, the Snow Leopard disc, but this isn't Snow Leopard, because I didn't have dual layer DVDs till literally, like, a couple of weeks ago, when I impulse bought some. So, yeah, I, I extracted the drivers and put them on a just a separate disc which works pretty well i just have it unlabeled because of course i do you can't really do anything oh this is did i grab the right kind of keyboard hang on oh i have this um just standard apple keyboard but there's actually two different versions of that keyboard what version is this Oh, cool. This is the 2007 version. There's two different revisions of this keyboard that look basically exactly the same. There's the 2015 one and the 2007 one. Only the 2007 keyboards 
work with this version of Bootcamp on Windows XP. If you have a 2015 keyboard, you won't get the eject button, the volume up keys, or brightness keys, or any of the other fancy uh, function keys you get on a Mac keyboard. It's kind of annoying, but whatever. Uh, this should be finishing up. I oh, hope. it's done. Okay. Finish? No. Because we, we're going to eject the disk first. Eject. Oh yeah, another weird quirk of the bootcamp software is that uh, it renames your primary hard drive to bootcamp. I don't know why it does, it just does. So I'm going to reboot this and we'll be back when it's done. Alright, we have booted back up and we get this stupid bootcamp help screen. It doesn't matter. So let's go over a couple of the utilities that come with Shut Up that come with Bootcamp if you've never used Bootcamp on Windows XP before. The first thing is you get this little desktop icon down here that gives you a button to restart in Mac OS or just some general about stuff. And then you also have the Bootcamp control panel which gives you options like brightness, uh, remote, but this doesn't have a remote receiver. You got the keyboard, you got the power settings, and the, the keys on the keyboard do actually work. So if uh, you can adjust the volume. Uh, I don't think any of these other buttons work, but yeah. You can change the volume with the keyboard. And now you have proper graphics acceleration. It says, what, 3 gigs of RAM in it? Or is that four? I have no idea. Anyway. Then you get all the cool other devices, like, uh, you get a hard drive, or you get, you actually have, uh, HDI mobility graphics, so it's a pretty decent little XP machine. But that's literally all I wanted to do was install Windows XP on an iMac, if you don't believe me. There's the Apple logo. This is definitely an iMac. Uh, I might use this iMac in future videos. I don't know. We'll see. But thanks for watching. Sorry if this video was kind of a wreck. I got distracted midway through recording because stuff happened. But yeah. I'll see you guys whenever I decide to make another video.